Trevanu's Backyard Grill, the people's choice has fought. Wade Bates and uh, Nick Van Knocker, St. Mary Springs football tonight at KFIZ, and soon to be at FODLTV.com. So, Feldner and uh, Ike Floyd going to be back to return. They're going to stagger themselves, it looks like, this time. Ledger's going left to right on your KFIZ radio dial up. Seven nothing are the Ledgers. Springs again has way too many men on the field, and uh, they're going to get a timeout. They had too, too many guys on the field. Immel Insurance and Financial Services timeout. Back in 60, this is Ledger Football at KFIZ. Michaels Corporation began as a pipeline construction company and flourished into an international engineering and construction contractor. Steadfastly earning the respect hey, and confidence. sports fans, of come to Galaxy Lighting, where you will find the best product with the finest service at a competitive price. Whether your taste is glamorous, rustic, or playful, the professionals at Galaxy Lighting will take the time to find exactly the lighting you need. Whether it's the whole house or a desk lamp, come to the brightest spot in town. Galaxy Lighting, 165 West Division Street, Fond du Lac. back to the original line of scrimmage at the 25 yard line. And, uh, well, Granlick didn't get a piece of it. That's where the flag got dropped. But if he uh, if he did, then it, well, we'll see what happens. It's going to be on Lamira. It's going to be a hold on Lamira. Is that what they're going to call? And I think Coach Highland's <laughs> just going to decline that because you're going to get yeah. the ball at the 25 yard line. Oh, chop block. They called the chop block. Block below the waist. And, uh, here we go. Springs will have it. First and ten. Before we went to break there, the timeout by the Ledgers because they had too many guys on the field again. Coach Highland before, and he was not happy with uh, a second time of having too many guys on the field. Luckily, this time, they didn't flag for it. Real short field for St. Mary Springs in the far hash. Have a... Greedy and Heron in the backfield to the near side. It's Feldman to the far side. Granlick motioning Feldman to the right side. Pitch to the near side. Greedy cuts it up inside the 25. Busts one tackle and gets brought down. Nice tackle there by Garrett Keller for Lomira. Gain of about three. Some of the things that uh, help out on this football team is guys being unselfish and helping out. And that time, down the field, Eric Felder was doing quite a bit of blocking that wide receiver. And that at first looked like it was going to go to no game, but Feldner had a couple of nice blocks, able to get Greeby a couple of yards. Split the backs again, a near hash. At the 22-yard line. And uh, Henderson hands it off, and the ball is loose on the turf. Still loose, and Lomira's going to try to no, cover it somehow. Evan good. Henderson make that uh, Greeby comes up with it. Lamira had about three chances to get that football. It was like a, it was like yeah. a, a greased pig right there. Nobody was able to get it. And uh, somehow, Tyler Greedy was able to cover it up. I mean, a couple of Lions had absolute uh, easy opportunities there. The strip was made for Lomira by Ethan Cook, who actually took that ball away. And it was loose. And uh, somehow, Tyler Greedy came up with it. Now it's third and 14. Now, Spring's lucky after that field position that they did not lose that football. And on the other side, Lamira. They had a golden opportunity there to get a turnover. Split the backs again. Henderson's going to back in the pocket. Steps up, fires over to Feldner. Fired it low. He made the catch, but he's going to be about a yard short of the first down on the far side of the field. It's going to be fourth down. 
Springs is going to go for it here on fourth down and about one. 10.28 left in the first half. 7-0 St. Mary Springs. Going to bring back Greeby. Also going to come back in the backfield to Taylor Steiner. Also Brian Bixmer in the mix. So fourth down and one for St. Mary Spring. Bixmer wide to the left to the near side. It's Eric Feldner. The split Steiner and Greeby. Behind Henderson, hand off to Greeby, right side, turns it upfield. He's got the 15-yard line down to the 14. That'll move the chains for St. Mary Springs, first and 10. I had a feeling that Greeby would have the football in uh, that case, just able to get those couple of extra yards that he needs and move the chains. Good run right up the middle. Officials time out here. Is there, actually, they're going to bring the chains in a measure. He didn't get as good of a spot as I no, thought he was going to get. No. I thought there was no doubt that it was going to be a first down, and now they're bringing the... Now, in some places, by looking at the lines, you think you never know. Cause sometimes you look at the high school football lines, they kind of waver to the right and to the left a little bit. But at Fruit Field here, they're pretty straight. Oh, that's going to be close. He's going to be he's very short. close. Well, if it's short, then it's... Uh, yep. He is short, short of the first down, wow. but Myra gets the hold. I don't know if they really necessarily got a good spot on that one. It looked like he easily had it. Didn't give him much... Forward I thought he was down to at least the 14-yard line, yeah. and uh, they marked it back just over the top of the 15, and uh, good call by the Zebra to bring in the chains. Well, Myra right now, they've got to consider themselves fortunate because just come away with it, and right now the Lions only down 7 to nothing. And the AirTech red zone hasn't been kind to the Ledgers today. As Block's going to work out of the shotgun. Deuce receivers to each side. Knights of the lone running back to his right. Going to throw. Here comes the pressure. Darren Ward. Uh, Block gets away on the right side. But here comes the cavalry right behind him. And down he goes. Right side. He's going to lose about uh, four yards on the play. Well, the uh, Ledger defense continues to employ quite a few defensive backs. But they're bringing these defensive backs on pressure. This is the second time they brought in one of the DBs. This time, Darren Ward from the weak side able to disrupt that passing pattern for the uh they weren't quite sure what they're going to do because six defensive backs is what is uh, the scheme they were going to use and they hadn't quite decided who they're going to do it with hand off to knights all this time and he runs right into eric sutton down he goes back at the eight yard line i tell you what that running game has gone absolutely nowhere what do you have for us i have them in negative they've got going this will be their eighth rush that time negative four yards so they've been right around zero because they have gained a couple of them but then lost a couple of yards so right now total offense they're at four yards total offense three wides to the far side that's the short side of the field they'll mark the ball inside the 10 right around the eight now they're gonna go trips to the right two wide receivers uh, to the near side Dylan Block all by himself standing about his one yard line working out of the shotgun. And we're going to get a whistle delay, delay of game. game on Lomiro. That's going to push him back even farther half the distance. Have to thank Baker Cheese, the cheese specialist. Visit the Baker Cheese store in County Road G at St. Cloud or call Baker Cheese at 477 7111. Also, Faber Home Design on Johnson Street, creative design and skills and quality craftsmanships. They're yours the second you call, 322. 9,700. Backed up uh, inside the five-yard line to the four once again. Let's give themselves some room to punt it. And they're going to toss it on the near side. It's complete to legal, and he's going to bust across the 10-yard line. Gets near the 15-yard line, tackled by Eric Feldner. For St. Mary Springs, and Lamira is going to have a little breathing room to punt, as you mentioned. Yep. It was a good block for Lamira on the play by Ben Laner. Good block allowing that uh, pickup. With about uh, 10 yards, gets them back to the original line of scrimmage. And now they're going to have to punt again, and looks like the Ledgers are going to get good field position for the third straight time. Block stands back at his four yard line. High, short kick. Yell fire, get out of the way. I think
So I, I want to be. You know what I want to be here. I want to be here for the hundredth anniversary of KFIZ in 2022. 2022. As long as you make it through 2012, I think we'll make it there. Yeah, I think we should be all right. The hundredth anniversary of KFIZ, not that far away. Can you believe that? What, 11 years away? Yeah. Henderson's going to keep it himself. Pitch to the left side. Greeby turns it upfield. 30. And he breaks another tackle up across the 40. And he's still on his feet near wow. the chains. Good run.